So you want to jack up your car safely, but you're not sure where the jacking points are. Some of these cars have got a lot of plastic underneath and you don't want to put the jack in the wrong spot. So I'm going to show you a variety of cars and a variety of jacking points. Once you know what you're looking for, you'll find those jack points every time. The best way to find it is your manual. Take a look at the manual, take a look at the jack and the style of jack, and that will keep you out of trouble. On a concrete floor, I like to use a good hydraulic jack. It makes the job a lot faster, but you still need to use the jack points. Sometimes I'll use a piece of wood so I don't damage anything, just go against the grain of the wood. The jack points we were just looking at are on a newer Subaru. Let's take a look at some other cars so you can start to get a feel of what these jack points look like. Here's a Honda Pilot. Notice it looks different than everything else under there. And here's the rear. You'll start to see and recognize what a jack point looks like. Here's a jack point on a Hyundai Sonata. And here's the back. You can see the notches. You'll put your jack between these notches. Here's an older BMW, and this is really easy to tell. This old Suburban, I can't find jack points anywhere, so you're gonna have to go under the frame. That's easy to find. So next time you're jacking up a car, make sure you use the manual and use your head. Another tip that I learned the hard way is whenever you use a hydraulic floor jack, when you tighten up the jack to pump it up, don't crank down the knob. Just finger tight anymore and you'll cause damage to your jack. Finger tight is all you need to get the jack to perform properly. Here's a little tip for getting that wheel on. Just use your feet and work it right on. Always use your hand to tighten the bolts on as far as you can to make sure you don't strip the threads. It's a great idea to torque the lug nuts. Typically 80 foot-pounds and the torque wrench is usually about $15 brand new at Harbor Freight. If the lugs are too loose, the wheel falls off. If it's too tight, you can't get it off if you need it off in an emergency. Another thing that I learned the hard way is take the tension off of your torque wrench so you keep the accuracy of your torque wrench. This releases the spring so it doesn't harm the torque wrench. So next time you're jacking the car up, and you're looking for those jack points, now you'll know where to find them. Well, I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it.